G'day guys, welcome to Year Night Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And today we have got a mask review for you. I have picked up these three bad boys from Patchology. Uh, I'm only going to do one today though. So we have the Get Dewy With It, this bad boy right here. And we have the Just Let It Glow. This one looks a little bit exciting. But we also have the Good Fight. Now, I did pick this one up, not necessarily with the intention of using it myself. I do have to admit that um, I got these as a three pack, which I wasn't really worried about because I have children that have acne. I don't typically get acne, so I thought that I might hand this one down to one of my children. However, um, if you guys want to know anything about it, Send me a message down below, I'll get my child to try it out, let you know what they think of it, and I'll get back to you in the comments. But, um, yeah, so, hence, no makeup today, we are going to do a mask review, and I've been waiting to do this for such a long time. I have so many masks to get through. Um, I just really, like, I can't even use COVID as an excuse, guys, because, like, I've got all this home time, so what should I be doing? I should be looking after my skin more, but you know what it is. It, uh, I just get so distracted with everything else that's going on. I forget sometimes to take care of my skin except for my regular uh, nightly routine. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get through some of these masks. These ones are just from Patchology. I've got a whole bunch more from other brands that I really, really want to get done as well. Um, but I do like to give my skin a little bit of a break. Uh, for you guys who have not been following me and you just want to know about uh, one of these masks, whichever one it is that I'm going to be using, it'll be one of these two today. Um, I have 35 year old skin, it is generally dry, uh, I have eczema, very sensitive skin, so if I'm going to react to something you're going to see it very clearly, my face will go bright red or I'll start burning and uh, I will let you guys know. Ordinarily I would do a, ta a patch test, I keep calling them attach test. Every time I go to say that, patch test, patch test. Anyway, so I'm probably going to chit chat some of the way through it, but I reckon which one should we do guys? Should we do get dewy with it or let's just let it glow? I think we might use get dewy with it. So let's have a little bit of a read. You know the feeling your thirsty skin is crying out for moisture with sad little puffs of desert air. It's a bit dramatic, isn't it? Enter your secret weapon against dryness, the superstar hydration team of hyaluronic acid, honey, hygiki, algae, and prickly pear. This complex balance, but uh, this, this complex balances your natural H2O levels and perks up your skin with a dose of moisture to take you from parched to refreshed, sun, wind, and indoor climate control, meet your match. Your selfie ready. My child, now go forth with your fan mask, tastic self. It's a bit of a tongue tie, that one. All right, directions. Unfold the mask, blah, blah, blah. Pop it under your face. Wiggle it around until you get the best fit possible. Leave one for 10 minutes or longer if you want. Remove the mask and massage excess serum into your skin. No need to rinse. Let that all absorb in. Well. I have tried some things from Patchology before. I absolutely love their um, gel eye patches. I've brought them quite a few times, so I'm very excited to do this. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Feels quite moist. Let's just get some of this hair out of the way today. Huh? I've got my trusty mirror in case I need to have a look at what I'm doing. It looks like it's a one piece. All right, let's go. Now I do apologise guys if you hear noises in the background, children or anything. I've recently moved uh, my setup out into a common area just so I can hopefully record more often for you guys. But that does mean that you might get some sounds of children going to and from, from the toilet or the four-year-old might pop in and say hello every now and then. Oh, this is very drenched guys, so just be careful when you're taking it out. I don't have a problem with that, but some of you might. I don't know if you can see this dripping, but it is it is very, very moist. Right, I'm just going to peel it over on my little trusty table over here. This is going to be quite interesting. I like the feel of the uh, mask material so far, but it does look quite large, so it is probably going to get into my hair. So if you're concerned about that, 
maybe put something more in your hair or do it on a day where you need to wash your hair I'm not sure here we go guys so a little nose flap there that's stuck up a little bit higher as you can see I'm not actually gonna fold that down because I don't like it over my nose so here we go guys it does have a scent it's going on actually a lot easier than some of these other ones that's just folded under there for now oh that's quite cooling oh that feels nice I really like the scent guys. I'm not generally a scent person when it comes to my skincare, but this is not too much. It's it's not so much that it's going to give me a headache. My hands are saturated. And did you think that I brought a towel or anything? No, so we'll just slide that bit up there because I don't want to get any of this in my mouth. And just have a little look at you, make sure everything's sort of fitting where I want it to be. So, I mean, you're well aware that sheet masks, they're not attractive. <laughs> um, there's very few that are attractive. I don't want to put like a glitter pukaki face mask on or anything like that. I can deal with these uh, these sheet masks. This is feeling really, really nice. It went on pretty easily, but like a lot of other masks, it is really slippy with that upper lip section. I actually wish that they wouldn't um, put those bits on there because I just feel that you can just take some of the, the fluid from pretty much anywhere and just sort of dab it on there. Um, without the sort of sheet going over it, especially if you're someone like me who likes to talk when they're doing their masks or if you just like to do other things, um, <laughs> it can be quite annoying. I mean, I do know that you're supposed to relax when you're taking a sheet mask or putting a sheet mask on or something like that, but who's got time for that? I mean, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave this on for 10 minutes, guys, and I'm going to come back and I'm going to take it off and we're going to see whether I have any reactions and um, what I think of it. Alright guys, welcome back. So it has been 10 minutes and I'm going to take this little guy off. Feels completely fine. I don't know whether I have had any breakouts yet because I haven't actually looked. So let's get this off and uh, let's have a little looky. It is still very wet guys. Um, I didn't need to move the mask around very much, thankfully. And let's have a little look. Oh, definitely got in my hair. So there's that. No, I don't have any reactions just yet, although if I was going to get any reactions, as I said previously, you would definitely see them. There is so much product on my face, I might actually just bring some of it down. Um, this feels really nice. I might just leave that, I might just let it absorb on its own just for a little bit. Feels very, very cooling, smells very nice. I really do enjoy it. If I do have any sort of reactions to this later on, whether it's half an hour, half a day later or whatever, I will actually um, pin it in the comments. So if you're curious about that, because I know obviously I'm doing it sort of all in one. Um, but yeah, from what I can tell, I really, really like it. Um, I do think that I, I get more out of the eye gels, uh, but this is nice. Doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. And um, it's quite affordable. I do believe that uh, they are $7 each Australian, um, so I think that's a pretty good price, although I would much prefer $4, but you know, that's because I'm a little bit of a tight ass, but anyway. Um, so yes, I do have these other two. As I said, I'm probably not going to use the Good Fight myself, but if you are interested about in this one, let me know and I'll see what I can do. I will definitely get around to using Just Let It Glow, uh, but I do have all these other masks here too. I have, some are old, some are new. I have this Yes to Coconut Ultra Hydrating for Dry Skin Energizing Coffee Peel Mask. I have this Manuka Honey Hydrating Moisture Mask from, who are you from? From Vita Masks that I could do. And I have these two Garnier um, Sheet Mask ones here. So if you guys are interested in any, any of those ones, in particularly any of those ones, let me know. I'll do that one next. Um, I do plan on getting some uh, other masks in the near future, some newer ones. There's quite a lot that I've been... I wanted to try maybe a Dr. Jart one. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see how we go. And, um, yeah, I'll be back very soon with another video, guys. If you're new to my channel and you like what you saw, feel free. Go ahead, click that subscribe button. It is free. You can always unsubscribe later if you don't like what you see. And um, Or otherwise, you can always check me out on Instagram. I'm either predominantly on YouTube or Instagram, so um, head over there. If you like what you saw, feel free to give me a thumbs up and hopefully I can see you in my next video. Bye guys.